rubber stamping has been holding its own as an art form. What is it about this method of graphic design that holds our hearts? Susan Opal has some ideas for what stamps can do these days in our modern day, if you want to call it that. It's great to have you. Great to meet you. you. So what do you have to say about the staying power of stamps? Well, I think that one of the things is that people are really um, innately creative. They want to be. Yeah. And so the idea of creating something and sitting down and enjoying the process is really something that people love. So I think that stamps allow people to do that in kind of a small way. And so I think that's why it's really staying around. It's so satisfying, isn't it? That it really That handmade is. touch. And with stamps, it sure literally is, is hands-on. Mm -hmm. What's interesting, though, stamps have been around forever in a day, yet that you say there are things that people still don't realize stamps can right, do. Right, exactly. Well, you know, I think one of the greatest things is that people, um, the community of crafters really gives everybody ad ideas and they're completely evolving and there's lots of fun ways to do different things. So still, stamps are still evolving. Absolutely, and you watch different people do awesome things and you're like, ooh, I gotta try that. So. I think that's really why it's still awesome. You've got three techniques that fit under the category of awesome and also right. kind of speak to that evolution that you're talking about. What's yes. first? Okay, the first thing is, you can see on this card right here, that what I have done is I have taken a dark cardstock, uh -huh. and then what I've done is I've put white heat embossing on it. So I'm going to show you how that is so done. So we're looking at the little cute witch here, right? Yes. So where is the white that you're talking about? Um, we're talking about it on the sentiment right there. Oh, so I see. So we're going to make that magic happen. Okay, it's show us the cool. magic. Okay, so I have already put right here the stamp that we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. And then when you have dark cardstock, one of the things when you're going to emboss it is you need to prep it with a little bit of this magic powder because that will make sure that it doesn't get static. Okay. Then you take your watermark ink mm -hmm. and magically stamp it on there. Now that's, okay. a, that's a cool little tool you Isn't have Isn't that, that that mini misty? Whoo, magic. Saves okay. it. Then you've got your embossing powder here. So mm. what color of ink was on the stamp? It's it's actually a watermark ink. Okay. So what ba basically happens is it just puts a little bit of wetness on there. Uh-huh. Okay. So then you pour on your embossing powder. Mm-hmm. And then you grab this, and then this is where the magic happens. You hit it with some heat. And then it kind of bubbles up. Look at the detail on that script, too. Isn't it beautiful? It and, is. And because you use that magic powder, it looks pretty crisp and clean. Oh, that's amazing. You're right, it was Isn't magic. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I know, it's I feel magical. like you just waved your wand and here it is. Can I hold this up? Yep. I am just stunned by the detail of that look and it's mm -hmm. textured, like you said, kind of bubbles up. Yeah. That's amazing. Love that. Yes, so okay. I, I love that. That's one of my favorite things because you, you figure like black on white, but to do white on black. Yeah, it pops. There's something Magical. totally striking about that. All right, what's okay. next? Next one is masking, and that's on this card right here. Okay. And you've got the flamingo stamp, mm -hmm. but then you want to maybe have a bunch of flamingos hanging out. We don't want just one. No. That's too lonely. Because you've got to have a flock of them. <laughs> yeah, of course. So you do this magical thing called masking, mm -hmm. and the first thing you want to do is stamp this little dude. And then what happens there, and I've already colored that one. Okay. What happens then is to mask it, you want to have this one up in the forefront. So you will stamp your flamingo on there and then just cut it out. That Use just looks like scissors. a, a post-it post note. Yeah. Totally, just regular old post-it notes. Okay. And then you trim it very, very closely. Mm-hmm. And then because of the post-it, it sticks right at the top. Oh, that's clever. Okay, and you can keep those. You can see I've used that one already. Uh huh. And then you can just take this flamingo, and it looks messy, but you put this flamingo here. So the post-it flamingo is just holding your spot. It's holding the spot, and it won't let this ink that just came from this <gasps> stamp get on there. Okay, so peel that up and see what happens. Almost like a reverse stencil? Yes. Here it comes. Oh, stop it. Super magical. Look at that. And then you can color that. And like the, the original card there, you can put a whole bunch of them together. So you've just done that over and over again. So right. all the flamingos have a friend. And you can reuse those. And 
awesome <gasps> magic. And More that's magic. called masking, you say? Yes, it's called masking. We're learning you're a magician today, right? We're yes. only two techniques in, and I already am like into your power. Awesome. I like it. I feel I love it. it. Okay, what's the third technique? Okay, third technique is where you can take a card. Here's the card right here. Let's see. So what I did was I stamped the flowers uh -huh. on a panel, and it's like this one right here. Okay. And so then what I did is I thought, okay, that's pretty. And now what I want to do is Gorgeous. I want to take that panel that I've stamped here. And how did you get the multicolor? Just the colors. I just used markers, lots of different markers. Onto your stamp. Yep. Well, no, I stamped it in black first oh, and you then colored, colored it. this. Yes. I see, I see. Okay. And then just to give it a little bit of interest, mm -hmm. you can put a die over it. Mm -hmm. And then you load it onto your die cut machine mm -hmm. and you run it through and there you can pull this out, hopefully. There it comes. Yes, come on. You're like, work with me, work with yes. me. And then you can just pop that up right on there. So <gasps> oh, once see. you've stamped, you can do things with dyes to make it even more interesting. So you just take in one image one and then cut it out, and you're mm -hmm. able then to layer those pieces. Exactly. And the effect is just amazing. I mean, look, that just literally jumps. That heart is jumping off the page. Yes. Oh, I love it. Susan, three great techniques, three new ways to use those old stamps. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I understand stampers are celebrating this month. Yes. This month, we don't just call it September. We call it stamp timber. Of course. Okay. And um, Simon Says Stamp.com, who I work for, they're doing this great thing called Stamp Timber. And basically, every day this month, there's something fun going on. Okay. One of the things that happens is that we have lots of fun stamp companies we work with. Mm -hmm. And we have exclusive, exclusive collaboration stamp sets that come out almost every single day. Very fun. Limited time. Grab them up while you can. And it's a great way for our community to really... You know, um, support get each together. Other. Yeah, support I like each that. other. Yeah. I like that. Uh, All right. And then one other thing is um, October 7th is World Card Making Day. So we're excited about that as well. We get excited about that here at yes. Studio 5 Good too. Stuff. We'll Good look stuff. forward to that. Circle it on the calendar. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing today. We appreciate it.